If workplace culture is your jam, you're in the right place. Check out this episode of Culture Secrets, the podcast dedicated to creating workplaces where both employees and the companies thrive. Welcome to the Culture Secret Podcast. I'm your host, Shelly Phillips. Today, I want to focus on the A in my value culture formula. If you're not familiar with that, a value culture is a people-centered workplace culture that is built around five pillars. That's vision and values, accountability, leadership, the uniqueness of your people, and engagement. When you focus on these five areas, you'll not only create an environment your employees thrive in, but you'll also see profitability and productivity increase for the organization as well. As I said, today, I'm focusing on the A, or accountability. It can be one of the hardest skills for a new manager or leader to master. Why? Because accountability can't just be mandated from the top down. Each employee must develop their own self-accountability throughout your culture building process for you to build strong, thriving teams. As their leader, you must ensure that each individual team member knows and takes responsibility for their actions. That's easier to do if you've worked together to set the vision and values for the organization because those values determine the behaviors that are expected. But that's a conversation for another episode. Many first-time managers struggle with setting clear expectations for their teams. So today, I'm talking about how you can do this effectively inside the team setting. First, let's define accountability. Simply put, it's the willingness to accept responsibility for one's actions. That's why it's vital your team members understand their goals, responsibilities, and expectations you've set for them. Your job is to show each team member what it looks like and help them understand you'll be supplying feedback on how well they're accomplishing those things. Before we move forward, are you demonstrating your own accountability in the workplace? Are you completing tasks that are assigned to you on time? Do you support your team when needed and help champion them to success? When you schedule meetings, do you respect people's time by showing up prepared? Do you take ownerships of problems and help find solutions? Or do you sweep them under the rug and assume the issue is being dealt with by someone else? If you had trouble answering these, you need to do some individual work on accountability before moving forward with team activities. However, if you feel your accountability meter is maxed out on the positive side, then let's look at the team aspect of accountability. So how do you know if accountability is an issue on your team? One easy way to check is ask yourself, do we miss deadlines? Are we punctual? Is unfinished work tolerated or are others expected to pick up teammate slack? Do we have unmet goals? Most team members respond well when they have a clear idea of the expectations their manager holds of them. It also helps them feel valued and connected to the outcomes when you can tie their task in with a greater mission for the organization. This clarity is an essential building block for accountability. This understanding also helps you navigate any surprises that might pop up. Team members will have confidence in you as a manager and in their abilities to tackle any unexpected obstacles when they have a clear view of where they are headed. When you're not 100% clear on what you expect from them, then the only thing they can do is start assuming. And I'm sure you've heard the old saying about what assuming does to you and me. Seriously, without the clarity, your team members will fail to ask important questions about deadlines or get needed information on projects because they fear your reaction. They'll spend extra time on tasks because they don't have the needed tools to perform effectively. And they'll multitask instead of focusing on what's important. This will slow your productivity and produce an inferior product or outcomes too. The members of your team also need to understand there is accountability expectations for the team as a whole and for its individual members. As a manager, you expect your team to behave in a specific way. You have expectations on how they treat your customers or how they interact with each other. Then there's the individual expectations that change based on levels of responsibility. Gary Ridge with the WD-40 company shared his thoughts on accountability with me as I was writing my book, Culture Secrets. The first thing is to define what they're accountable for, he said. Most people let people down because they haven't defined what we hold each other accountable for. Accountability is about buying into the whole, not weighing in on the pieces. Everyone must be invested and committed to a shared vision to achieve their collective goals. In my book, Culture Secrets, I interviewed Daniel Lawrence. He's the founder of a tech startup called Bots for That located in the UK. I asked him about the importance of accountability, and this is what he told me. 
Everyone needs to be equally accountable if they're going to succeed. We have our annual strategy and we have a quarterly plan. That quarterly plan gets very, very tangible and very, very practical. The outcome is that everyone has some part of it in delivering it. If any one of us misses, we all miss. It's joint accountability. So much as if two of us fail, well, guess what? We all failed. If I don't get the deals in and get them signed, it fails and I fail and there's no money around to go around for extra bonuses. If we don't finish projects on time, we don't get the money and there's no money for bonuses. All these things are very collaborative and all joined up closely. We all know that we're all got to succeed for us to all succeed. There's no I did okay. We either all fail or we all succeed. Accountability isn't about placing blame. It's about personal ownership. Taking ownership must become a discussion, even when nothing is going wrong. Too often we only discuss accountability when there is a problem or we're looking to place blame somewhere. That's why team members need to understand their implications and consequences for the actions they choose. If you as a leader haven't properly articulated what the consequences are for not following through, why would they take you seriously? Your job as a leader is to turn accountability from a negative perception to a positive one. Moving everyone to a point where they see accountability as a personal value will take time, but it can be a great tool for growth and development that will lead to overall improved business performance. Just because you tell team members to do something doesn't mean they will unless they're bought into the value that it has to them as an individual. It's also easier to receive that buy-in when they say you leading by example. Here's a few suggestions that you can use to show your team as their leader that accountability starts starts at the top and you're committed to embracing the idea of a 360 degree accountability model. First, invite feedback from others on your performance. Second, work on how you provide feedback and remember to not only provide the negative, but include positive feedback as well. Three, be truthful. Do what you say you will do. Four, acknowledge problems. Five, own the situation and circumstances as well as the results. And six, ask what else can I do to drive results? A fringe benefit of accountability is that it builds relationships. Accountability encourages employees to communicate with each other and their supervisors. It encourages them to get to know each other at work, And this helps build lasting relationships, which help people foster the feeling of belonging in the workplace. And this is a huge driver for culture. An accountability system breaks down barriers between employees and gives them a common goal and provides time to work together in unique ways. Building an accountability system will also serve to reinforce your vision. Accountability keeps everyone on the same page. From entry level to upper management, each member should be given a clear understanding of how they can be part of the mission. They should clearly understand the follow through is vital and expected. Accountability is essential in creating successful workplace cultures. When everyone has clear expectations and understands the importance of their contribution to the team's success, they're more likely to be motivated and engaged with their work. An effective accountability system can help reduce conflict between employees while promoting collaboration and creative problem solving. When you have an accountable team that shares common goals, it will be easier for your organization to reach its objectives and foster an atmosphere of trust and respect among all members. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Culture Secret Podcast. If you're like me, you want to work with people who do what they say they're going to do. I don't appreciate those who look for ways to blame others or make excuses when things aren't going their way. I prefer to work with people who show up, carry their weight, and contribute in valuable ways. That's accountability. It's not someone else's problem. It starts with you. It starts with me. It's about taking ownership of the ideas and actions needed to move an idea forward. After all, you're in the driver's seat, not anyone else. To learn more about building a value culture in the workplace, you can pick up a copy of my book, Culture Secrets, Secrets Leaders Use to Build a Value Culture, on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Want something hands-on or more personal? I'm booking for the first quarter of 2024 for speaking and training events. You can find information about my programs or schedule a time for us to chat by visiting visiting my website at www.chellyphillips.com. That's C-H-E-L-L-I-E-P-H-I-L-L-I-E.
ips.com. If you liked what you heard today, please subscribe, rate, and share this podcast out with your friends. Got comments or topics you'd like me to cover? Connect with me on social media, my favorite platforms, LinkedIn, or drop me a note in the comment section. Remember, building a value culture is your competitive advantage and the backbone of any successful organization. Thank you.